Today's recipe has been requested by one of our subscribers and it is the classic carbonara. Alright, let's go shopping. For this recipe, we will need large organic eggs. Now let's go find some spaghetti. What we need to buy next is a mixture of parmesan and pecorino or just 100% parmesan works as well. And now for the best part, the bacon. Traditionally, you would want to look for guanciale or pancetta. I found pancetta, but this one is very thinly sliced, so I'm just going to go for regular breakfast bacon instead. All done with the shopping. Welcome back to Honest Cooks. Let's begin by taking a look at the ingredients. Spaghetti is the ideal choice of pasta for a carbonara, but you could use any other kind of pasta that you like. I decided to buy shredded parmesan, but if you do not have that choice, you could go for brick of parmesan as well. some freshly cracked black pepper. I wanted to crack this in advance so that it's an arm's reach away when I'm in the middle of cooking. And next we have the bacon. Like I said, traditionally you would want to use guanciale or pancetta, but since I could not find either of them today, I am just going to go with some regular breakfast bacon. to chop this a little bit bigger than what we want to end up with since it's going to shrink down quite a lot when you render the fat. Now let's add the cheese to the egg. Of course you have to crack the egg first. Break the yolk and mix it all up till it looks like a homogenized mixture. Now here's a helpful tip for you. To avoid ending up with scrambled egg spaghetti pasta, which totally did not happen with us, <clears throat> store this yellow white mixture in the fridge till we get to it later on. And here's another tip for you. In order to perfectly render your bacon, start by placing it on a cold pan. At the same time, when you start cooking the pasta, turn on the stove for your bacon as well. The temperature of the pan and the bacon will gradually increase together giving you more bacon fat and crispier bits of bacon. And now our bacon's ready and is also substantially reduced in quantity, but that's probably because I munched on it while I waited for the pasta to boil. Once your spaghetti is cooked, do not drain it, just pull it out and put it in your pan of bacon directly. And notice how I lifted my pan up above the stove. Now at this point I do not want any more heat adding on to the pan so turn off your stove and make sure that you keep the pan up in the air. The only reason I'm keeping my pan in the air is because my stove top has a lot of residual heat even after I turn it off. If you have a gas stove top you won't have to hold it in the air at all. Just turn off your stove and continue cooking. Now add a few splashes of that pasta water into your pan and this water is what is going to emulsify your eggs into that creamy sauce. Add a little bit of the pepper and mix it all up. Notice how my pan is still in the air and when I keep it down, I put it on the cold surface and not on the stove. And now I'm going to add my eggs and continue mixing it. You might feel that it's going to scramble. But don't worry, as long as you keep stirring it, keep mixing it, 
your eggs will emulsify with the pasta water. And once you have an emulsified creamy sauce, we are ready to plate. off with some more parm and freshly cracked black pepper and there you have it a lovely plate of classic carbonara if you enjoyed today's video and the tips that i shared with you please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to honest cooks your sub is very helpful and is greatly appreciated and you can also follow us on instagram and twitter to get in touch with us thank you so much for watching have a great day